So you decided to cut the cord, kick out your cable company, and get free TV over the air. Well, good for you. Now, are you going to be home at 8 o'clock on Wednesday nights to watch Survivor? I don't think so. You're going to want to buy a DVR to record those programs and watch them at your convenience. And today I'm going to give you my top five picks for over-the-air DVRs coming up. Now to be included in my list, all the products had to have an integrated guide, be able to record programs in advance, as well as on demand, do it an episode at a time or an entire season. We also needed the ability to multitask. That means you can watch a program and record at the same time. They also needed to be whole house DVRs, also known as multi-room, and the ability to pause and rewind live TV. Now, I'm not presenting these in any specific order. In fact, I'm putting it up to chance to decide what order we should talk about them. So the first up is HD Home Run. So the first up is the HD Home Run. That is a TV tuner, but you can get DVR software for it. The DVR software has to be installed on a computer or NAS in your house. Plus, you need some kind of a streaming device so that you can watch the live TV over the HD Home Run. So this box doesn't connect directly to your TV. Like a lot of the other boxes we're going to be talking about today, they just connect to the antenna and to your home network. And from there, you can watch it anywhere in the house from your home network. This device is wired only, so it has to be located somewhere near your router. It does not support Wi-Fi. Now the HD Home Run Quattro that you see on the screen here has four tuners that works with an antenna only, so that's OTA over the air, but they also have HD Home Run Prime, which takes a cable card if you wanted to just shave your cable bill. So you can get these in two to four tuners. The cost is roughly $70 to $150, and it works with Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android. You are not allowed to do any remote streaming, so you can only get to it from within your home, and there is no offline viewing as well. The subscription for the DVR software costs $35 a year, and like I said, you have to install that software on a computer in your house or a NAS, something that's on all the time. All right, let's spin the wheel again. And the next one up is the Fire TV Recast. Now this is a new entry from Amazon. It has a TV tuner and DVR built into it. It works pretty much the same way as the HD Home Run, except that the DVR is built in and it has a hard drive internal into it as well. So you don't need another computer and you don't need another hard drive. It does require a streaming device because this does not connect directly to your television. This only works with over the air and you can get them in either two tuners or four tuners. The two tuner device comes with 500 gigabytes and the four tuner device comes with one terabyte drive. The cost is about $190 to $230. It requires Fire TV type slave devices, which means you have to have a streaming device in order to watch the programs from this. And as long as you're into the Amazon ecosystem and you've got Fire TVs or um, Fire Sticks in your house, these work great. You can also use an app to stream this remotely, but you cannot save the programs to your phone for offline viewing. And the best thing about it is there is no subscription price. Okay, spin the wheel number three. TiVo. Now, TiVo is a TV tuner plus a DVR plus a set-top box all in one. You can not only watch live TV, you can record it, you can play it back, but you can also access all of your streaming apps, your Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, etc., right from this device, so you don't need any other set-top box whatsoever. This is an all-in-one solution. For connectivity, you could do wired Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or Mocha, which is Ethernet over your cable. Now, you can get boxes that are just for over the air, or you can get them that support over the air and cable, or just cable as well. They are four to six tuners. You can get them from 500 gigabytes up to three terabytes. The cost is $150 to $500 for the TiVo Bolt Vox, which is the newest model. If you have multiple TVs in your house, you're going to need TiVo Minis on those other TVs, but you can get those used on eBay. In addition, they are going to be supporting Fire TV, Roku, and Apple TV in the very near future from what I've read on the internet. 
you can access your TiVo box remotely, and you can also offline save your program so you can watch them while you're on a plane or someplace that you have no internet connectivity. The subscription on TiVo is its biggest downfall. It is pricey, $150 a year or $550 a lifetime for the box. So that is TiVo. Let's spin that wheel again. Next up is Plex. Plex is not really a DVR. It is a home entertainment software package. It allows you to archive and hold on to movies and TV shows as well as your home movies and your photos and your music collection. You can put all that in Plex. It's a it's a multimedia server for your entire home. But it does have DVR capabilities if you hook it up to a TV tuner such as an HD home run. The advantage to doing that is that it's a more user-friendly, consistent experience when you're watching and recording programs from a tuner through Plex. The other advantage that it has over just the HD home run DVR is that it allows you to remotely stream your programs outside of your home. Now, Plex needs a computer or NAS as well as a TV tuner like an HD Home Run. And of course, the connectivity and the disk and whatnot all comes with options depending upon what kind of computer you use. There is no upfront cost for Plex. However, you do need a Plex Pass to do the um, DVR capabilities. And that subscription costs either $5 a month, $40 a year, or $120 a lifetime. And last but not least is Tableau. Tableau is a very popular TV tuner and DVR solution as well, kind of like the predecessor to the Fire TV Recast. Very similar product. It has either two tuners or four tuners. It only works over the air. This one supports wired or Wi-Fi connectivity. Unlike the Fire TV Recast, this does not come pre-configured with a hard drive. You have to buy your own external hard drive and plug it in. The advantage there is you can go up to 8 terabytes and save tons of programs if you wanted to. The cost is about $140 to $200. It supports a whole ton of different streaming devices. However, you are going to have to provide a streaming device to be able to watch it. This does not connect directly to your TV. You can watch your programs remotely, but you cannot save them for viewing offline. The subscription fee is either $5 a month, $50 a year, or $150 a lifetime. That is Tableau. So when you look at them all in a bit of a scorecard, I'm going to go with the TiVo Bolt is the best one in terms of functionality and usability. It is an all-in-one box that you don't need any other hardware for. You don't need a disk drive. You don't need any streaming devices. It is all in one. Just plug it into your TV and it works great. In fact, that's the product that I use in my house. I have to ding it on price though. I calculated the three year price on all these devices and TiVo does come out the most expensive at $600. The best price of course is the Fire TV Recast because it's a pretty decent entry cost, but it has no subscription fee whatsoever. But you do have to have an Amazon compatible streaming device. For usability, I only gave the Recast three stars because of a couple reasons. Number one, it is a version one product and there are definitely some quirks to be worked out. And the other thing is that you can only stream from two devices simultaneously with the Recast. So that's a pretty big limitation if you've got multiple TVs in your house. I gave Tableau four stars on usability and three stars on price. It does require an additional streaming device. However, it is the one that has the most compatibility with other streaming devices. So odds are you probably have one in your house that it'll work with. HD Home Run DVR, I wasn't too thrilled with. I did try it out. It's not. It's a little quirky and uh, not as a mature of a product as the others in this category. And in addition, in order to use it, you have to have a separate computer as well as a streaming device. A little harder to set up there. Same thing with Plex. You need that extra computer, but I do like the flexibility. I like the features that come with Plex. If you do buy Plex for all the other features, the DVR is a gimme, and then it may not be that big of a deal. So that'll wrap up my top five DVRs for cord cutters in 2019. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. 
Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.